congratulations. On Thank you. So walk us through you walking at Mount St. Mary's University for your bachelor's degree. Walk me through this story, Coach. Oh, um, well, when I left Temple way back when to play ball, I had switched majors, so I didn't have the right core classes to finish up. And, you know, once you start playing pro ball and family life happens, you kind of forget everything. And, you know, my mother got cancer uh, in the early 2000s. She made it to 2009, and she's never said anything before. But before she passed, she just said she wanted me to do one thing. And I asked her what. She said, finish my degree. And that kind of stuck with me for a long time. And, I, you know, you try to get it from one university, and you keep running the problem there. So I got into Mount St. Mary's, and I started taking classes. On Actually, I had classes the year we won the Super Bowl. I had classes. And to do that for her and for actually to see my three boys see me walk across the stage, and one's in college, one's getting ready to go to college, and the other one's still growing up, you know, hopefully that's important. It'll rub off to them. Wow. That's all I can say to start. (laughs) But let's do some follow-up questions here. So you took classes during the pandemic year. You were Zooming while you were also conducting your job as defensive coordinator of the eventual Super Bowl winning defense for the Buccaneers. Is that what you you did? I did, yes. How did you how did you split your time like that? I mean, how did you walk me through that? I get up at 3, 3.15 in the morning, and, you know, I can do about an hour and a half of work, and then I'll get right to my football stuff and kind of go from there and listen to some of the podcast notes on the way home and, you know, you, you stay up and do some work that way as well. And and it just it's something I would just had to do. And then your mom, before she passed, she she mentioned to you, she, had she mentioned – Anything like that to you uh, since you'd left Temple and played ball and gotten involved she in your family? She never said a word. She never said one word. Until it just came out of her mouth uh, before she passed? Yes, it did. And she just asked, she said it very calmly and very peacefully. And, you know, that stuck with me. And, you know, it, and she was happy with everything I was doing. She just, I, she doesn't ask me for much. And for her to ask that of me, I had to at least do that. And so what does it mean, do you think, that you walked on Mother's Day weekend, Todd? It was bittersweet. I didn't think about it at the time, but, you know, the fact that it was Mother's Day weekend and knowing she was down over there watching over me, you know, hopefully she smiled and, you know, it was, it was very gratifying. Wow. Uh, congratulations to you on all that. So you got your degree in in what? Bachelor of Science in Youth and Development. Okay. All right. So where's your diploma now? Did you hang it? Where is it? It's in my office. I haven't hung it yet, but it's in my office uh, at home. Come on. you got to hang it. When are you going to hang it? Come on. I know you got mini camp and stuff like that, but let's (laughs) – come on, Coach. (laughs) Come on. Hopefully it doesn't take me as long to hang it as it did for me to get it. That's true. That's a good one. (laughs) So there's time. There's time. Well, congratulations on all that, Coach. Um, and and it, that is that is uh, wonderful to hear and, and well-deserved and hard work, uh, obviously paying off. Um, so I appreciate you, um, you telling us that story. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 